Hi there, welcome to my tutu with Teacher Brian. Hi folks. Hi papa. Sino Hi folks, welcome to Statistics and Probability. Well, alam ko, the subject may be quite intimidating. Yet, as you go along with our discussion, you'll find it practical and helpful, especially in dealing with your research paper. In this session, we will be dealing with random variables. So you may ask now, ano ba yung random variables? Bakit ba natin siya pinag-aaralan? Kailan ba natin sinasabing random variable siya? As we unlock this term, we would find out how close these variables are to everyone. No? Hindi natin alam na yung ginagawa pala natin random variable pala yun. Hindi natin alam na minsan yung nilalaro pala natin, random variables pala yung pinoproduce nun. So, what do I mean with that? Okay? What do I mean when I say random variables is really around us? Okay. I know you are familiar with this game. Some of you are already um, playing this whenever you're dealing with uh, Snake and Ladders, Monopoly, di ba? So, Suppose we toss a die. We already know that a die has six phases. We have outcomes or results like one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So in statistics, this kind of results are called sample space. In tossing a die, since meron tayong total of six outcomes, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, kung isang die lang naman yung gagamitin natin, we can say that we have six sample spaces. No? When we say sample spaces, this R, or this is the number of specific results. So in tossing a die, meron tayong anim na sample space. So ganun lang siya kadali. However, halimbawa, sabi nyo, gusto mo yung number three lang. Gusto mo yung outcome na three lang ang lumabas. Ang tawag doon ay sample outcome. Okay? And a sample outcome is the specific result of an experiment. Yung pagtutos ng die, ang tawag doon ay experiment. So, hindi lang natin ginagamit yung experiment kapag gumagawa tayo ng mga scientific uh, processes. We also use the term experiment when we are dealing with statistics, specifically the process that these outcomes have gone through. Right? Now, let's talk about this too. Now, we have the sample outcome is the specific result. The sample spaces is the number of specific results. They are related. Okay? Para makuha mo si sample spaces, kailangan mo malaman kung ano-ano yung mga outcomes. At, para makuha mo si outcome, kailangan mo rin syempre malaman kung ano yung sample space mo. Alright? This is very important in probability. So, let's have another example. Suppose you flip a 5 peso coin. Okay? We all know that there are two possible outcomes. We have the tails and we have the heads. Right? So, alin dun yung sample space? Since there are two number of specific results, it could be a tail or it could be a head. Therefore, in flipping a coin, we have two sample spaces. Okay? So, sana naiintindihan yun. Pero, kapag halimbawa, sinabi mo, gusto mo lang ng isa, yung head lang. Okay? Ang tawag doon ay sample outcome because it's a specific result. However, a person may meet difficulties in determining the number of sample space and outcome if the experiment requires a very long process. Kasi may mga experiment na sobrang haba. Katulad nitong problem na ito. Suppose you toss a coin three times. How many times a head would appear? Three times mo ipiflip yung coin. Tapos gusto mo lang malaman kung ilang beses lalabas yung head. So that's kind of a long process, a tedious process that 
will not be that we cannot just easily identify what the sample space or what the sample outcomes are. Diba? Kasi, three times may flip yung coin. In this part of our experiment, it will now call for the help of random variables. Okay? Random variables can be any outcome from some chance process. Kaya nga siya random. Lahat ng magiging resulta from an experiment is a random variable because it is randomized it's a product of chance it's a product of probability and possibilities random variables pag nagflip ka ng coin ang resulta noon random variables yon kapag nag uh, toss ka ng die ang resulta noon Random variables pa rin. Okay? Random. From the word random, ibig sabihin, shuffled. Product of chances. Let's go back to that question. Suppose we toss a coin three times. Lahat ng outcome nun, those are called random variables. And in order to further solve this problem, we need to use a tree diagram. Okay. A tree diagram is a simple way of representing a sequence of events. It is particularly useful in probability since they record all possible outcomes in a clear and uncomplicated manner. This is how it looks like. Okay. So, nagkakaroon ng branching. While branching it, we are determining the probable or possible sample space and outcomes. Katulad ng nakikita nyo. And, in the next video, we will be solving the problem I posted a while ago. Okay, we will determine the random variables using a tree diagram. So, see you there!